Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. Now today we will be creating some distorted text animation. Something like this. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is add my text using the text tool. And you can type whatever you want, but I'm going to be using the word distorted. Click OK. And I'm going to stick with the, the, the Arial font family, but of course you can change it to whatever font family that you want. I'm, I am, however, going to change the weight to heavy so that we have, you know, some more, some more meat to the, to the text, so to speak. Uh, and I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to scale on the size to maybe 30, just so we can see it in the frame here. And I'm going to move it over like so. Okay, so now we have our text all set up. I'm now going to put the text inside of a folder. And the reason why we're doing this is because I'm going to be adding a noise layer to it and I don't want it to affect the background layer. Um, so we can't see the text and that, that's because once I put it inside the folder, for some reason, the blend method um, gets changed to onto. So just if that happens to you, just change it to composite to see your text. And within the group, I'm just going to right click new layer and let's go to distortion, distortions or distortions, however you want to pronounce it and click on noise distort. And there we already have our text distorting, but of course we want to animate this, right? So with the noise distort layer selected, what we'll be animating is the detail because the detail is what is affecting the, um, the, the, uh, the distortion of the, the text here. So if I should change this to zero, you see that there is no distortion. And we'll also be changing the random seed, right? And that's the, the seed will alter the way the distortion looks. Okay. The more you change the seed, the, 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 the more different of a look you get. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, uh, so let me turn on the animate button and I'm going to change this to ease in and ease out. And I'm going to be starting at frame one here. So let me just change the detail to maybe one so that we can get a keyframe there. And well, let me start at, I think I'm going to start at four actually. And the random seed, I'm just going to change the last value here to six so we can get a keyframe there. And I'm going to just come down here to maybe frame 24. And I'm going to change the detail back to zero. And I'm going to alter this right here. Uh, let me change this. You can pretty much just experiment with the amount of the seed value. I don't really have a specific value in mind. I'm just changing the number so that we can get some variation going. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the center here and, and just change these values to maybe something different just so we can get a variation of the distortion going on there. So let me just render this or preview it so we can see what it looks like. And that looks okay to me. But of course you can go in and alter these values to get more distortion if you want, right? But I'm comfortable with what we have here. So now let me close this up and I'm going to select all of these, move them over because I want it to start at frame 10 here. And before we get there, I'm going to just change the opacity. I'm going to animate the opacity. So from zero to one, let me preview and see what we have. It should start out by you not seeing it. Then it appears in the screen that it gets distorted. And that is exactly what is happening. All right. So we have, we have that going on. All right, so to get the other effect of the text um, sort of um, smearing, well, not really smearing, but sort of like smearing, all you need to do is duplicate this here, and we can hit this button here to duplicate the group. And what I want to do is I want to add a keyframe to this right here. So let me click on the origin point, move this down slightly, then move it back into place. And I'm gonna go to the first frame here, and move it down a bit like so. You can move it as far as you want. 
Okay, so when you move forward, it will basically slide back into place to match up with the original layer that we have there. And I'm going to just turn off animate and I'm going to change the color slightly. So I'm going to give it a lighter color here. And of course we could duplicate this and add one more to get, you know, an even more um, better effect, but I think I'm going to leave it at two. So let me preview this and see what we have. All right. So let me play. And yeah, that is looking okay. So yeah, you can go ahead and experiment further, you know, push it so that it can look even better than this. All right. But I am pretty much satisfied with this. And that's how you go about creating this started text. And uh, so that's it for this tutorial. And I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.